over 4,000 meter high mountains, 1,150 transmission towers, over 5,000 kilometer long power conductors, $450 million, the impossible deadline of 36 months, and one heli crane. Rains, flash floods, elevation, difficult terrain and sensitive areas. These are some of the first challenges for an engineer. At Sterlite Power, we are pushing the limits by using innovation and technology to ensure on-time delivery, no matter what the obstacles are. This is the role that Sterlite Power played in empowering the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The task before us was to create an alternative power transmission corridor from Moga in Punjab to Amarkar in Uri district in Jammu and Kashmir to ensure reliable power supply to the people of the state all through the year. The transmission route passes through plain fields, hills, valleys, rivers and high mountains. To overcome these very challenges, our solution came from the skies. The Helicrane, a former war veteran, capable of handling large loads, was our solution to this problem. Used for the first time in the continent, this war machine was now being used as an agent of civil construction and empowerment for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The corridor passes through Pir Ki Gali on the Mughal road. This is at an altitude of 4500 meters and is snowbound for most of the year. Like the Pir Ki Gali pass, in the higher altitudes, the work window is merely 3 to 4 months a year. As during rest of the year, this region is snowbound. Logistics of moving men and materials in these inhospitable areas is a task not meant for the weak. Besides the topography, the tower design needed to account for extreme weather, seismic activities and snow. In order to devise the most effective execution methodology for this challenging terrain, we had to come up with out-of-the-box ideas not deployed before for any infrastructure project in the country. The Helicrane allowed easy access to remote construction sites and helped with better management of human resources. Besides, ferrying construction material like cement, sand, gravel, and bundles of steel for constructing the tower foundations. It also helped in tower erection. Tower sections were assembled at a working yard. They were carried by the helicrane and then placed on top of one another in a smooth symphony involving men, machine and technology, just like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Work time of weeks was crunched to just a few hours. Conventionally, hundreds of mules would have been used to transport these materials. Dozens of gangmen would have carried headloads for hours to reach the remote tower locations. The helicrane made the labor more effective for all the on-site activities while making the construction process less tedious and more humane. Sterlite's approach of adopting innovative technology as on-site tools ensured a higher level of efficiency from the labor and engineers in the field. The benefit of the environment was also significant. The helicrane negated the movement of bulky equipment, hundreds of mules and men over pristine forest and hilly areas, thus preserving the environment. The terrain and altitude was conquered, the weather was countered, and that impossible deadline was now made possible. Thanks to the use of innovative technology, and the never-say-die attitude of Sterlite Power Engineers.